um, my arm fell off. I'm not sure when that happened. Hello everybody, my name is The Wolf Praise, and welcome back to more episode of Insane Siege Creations. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys some more of the most awesome creations that I have found on the Steam Workshop, and to start off with, this thing is called the Water Walker. Now, it also came with its own ocean mod as well, which we can toggle on and off over here. We can set the sea level, all this kinds of cool stuff, which I, I never seen before. And like, I, I guess I've been away from Besiege for a lot longer than I assumed, but yeah, it, there's a lot of cool stuff in this game now. TFD and H to walk around, so T is to go forward. G and H are to turn, or F and H are to turn. But yeah, it actually, it, it works pretty well. I mean, look at this, it, it's walking on the water. Now, I assume the way that it's able to do this is because of those feet that are constantly spinning, so it's pretty much like a propeller, always keeping it above the water. So yeah, I think that's pretty much how it's working. As you can see, there's also a couple of rockets on top. Let's go and fire this off real quick. This is one and two. There we are. Not too bad, they're, they're rockets, you know, well, what can you expect? Let's go and watch those explode as well. Unless it's gonna take a long time. Okay, that's fine. They could just go all the way up there. I don't I don't even care. Oh crap, this thing is kind of malfunctioning a little bit. This is not an invincibility mode, so yeah, it is completely on its own here. Uh, there's also G to align the feet. Let's go and try that. Maybe that'll fix things. Um, yeah, he's fine. Don't worry about it. Just just continue on. I think maybe if we just walk a little bit, it'll kind of stabilize. Yeah, that, that kind of works. This thing's just really cool, though, that someone came up with the idea of something to walk on water in this game. I mean, like, come on now. What are you, freaking crazy? I don't know, but I like it. Yes, those were all the controls for the water walkers. So that's pretty much all it can do, but I mean, hey, it, it does what it does pretty well. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's walked from all the way over there to over here, and then, then back over there again. We're, we're getting around. And for our next creation, we have the Beetle Warrior. Now, this is another creation made by Karuku, who is a friend of mine, a very good creator. You guys should definitely go check him out. Uh, this is supposed to be like a mech walker type thing, and I mean, it has swords for hands, so I mean, what, what else could we really need? Pretty simple controls to get this guy moving, it's just the arrow keys. There's also F for a first person camera, let's go and try that out for a little bit. See what it feels like to be the, the mech warrior himself, or beetle warrior I think it's called? Yeah, beetle warrior. Kind of a weird name, is this supposed to be from something? I don't know, but, but I feel very powerful in this mode. But in reality, he's kind of struggling to get over these little rocks. Come on buddy, just pick your toes up, quit dragging your feet. That's what my mom always told me. For controlling the arm, it's Y, U, H, and J, which would be, there we go, a little bit of that. So you can hack and slice and dice and heist. I'm trying to think of other words that rhyme with ice. Yeah, there we go. And for the right arm, there is I, O, K, and L. So you can control that around like that. He says that it makes more sense in the first person camera. Let's go and try that out real quick. Uh, and try to move these arms out of here. There we go. Okay, yeah, that it kind of looks like a first person game, you know, when you would, you know, slash and stuff. There we go, a little bit of that. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, um, my arm fell off. I'm not sure when that happened. Go and try to get the arm out of the way. And then we also have a flamethrower, which is one. Let's go and try that as well. Yep, pretty cool. Actually, it, it kind of looks a little bit derpy. Maybe that's some kind of mod that I have on. Or maybe it's supposed to look like that. It's just, it's just very big. That's, that's why it looks strange. Press down if legs feel broken. It may happen when running into hills of debris, okay? So if we break the legs, I guess we just press down and it's supposed to fix things. All right, I'll take your word for it. He does say that it doesn't deal with hills very well, but it can walk over a certain level of debris. So yeah, like all these little rocks and stuff, it did pretty well over that. But I imagine over these little uh, logs here, I don't know if he'll be able to even step over that. Maybe? Get your little foot up there, buddy. You just gotta hook it with your toe. And then, and then all, all the power is in your hips. It's all in the hips. No? Okay. He's just kind of doing this thing. You do you, buddy. I'm not gonna judge you. And one thing I'm curious about is if a flamethrower actually reaches out that far, so let's go and try that. Um, I think it might be a cosmetic flamethrower. Unless we're just not, like, technically close enough. Maybe if we turn to the side, try to get these little trees on the side of us. Here we go, something a little bit like that, maybe. Try that. Okay, that doesn't work either. But I do see this hill over here. Let's go and test it on the hill, and then that's pretty much it for this guy. I think we've went over all the controls, but I mean, look how freaking cool he is. I just want to make sure, I just want to make sure he gets his moment of glory. All right, so trying to make it up the hill. See if we'll be able to. Just shimmy right on up. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think it likes hills very much. But still, it's a very cool creation. I mean, look at it. It's a freaking beetle warrior. I don't even know what that is, but I assume it's supposed to be from something. And if it's not, then it's creative at the very least. I like it. Good job, Kuruko. Alright, for this one, I'll be straight up with you guys. I don't know if I've checked this out before, but I went through all of my old Besiege creations, I deleted a whole bunch of old stuff, and yeah, I found this, and I don't remember ever checking it out before. This is called Brawl. It's supposed to be a tank that also transforms. Which, of course, Transformers are always an A-plus for me. So move this thing around, in the tank mode, it is just the arrow keys. Let's go and just get ourselves all the way over to this platform over here. And then that'll be a nice little test of the tank mode. In the tank mode, we also have a couple of guns. Let's go and try those out. This is C for the cannon. 
Yep, that works pretty well. Let's see if that hits anything. Nope, it is a little bit laggy. Just don't worry about that yet. Seems like we're having a little bit of a struggle getting over the bridge here. I'm not sure what is causing that. I mean, come on, it's a, it's a freaking tank. It should be able to move right up that. I do see the tank tracks aren't actually moving. Maybe they kind of got like melded into the bridge. I don't know, kind of weird. But while we're here, might as well fire off the other weapons real quick. This is why. A little bit of flamethrower. There's one through eight for can or for missiles. Go try all those. There we go. Yeah, you can never have enough missiles. Come on now. And we do also have Z to transform. So let's go and actually move this thing over to that other platform. Actually, is there anywhere else that would be more pretty? Kind of down in here looks pretty. Uh, well, let me find a pretty place. All right, something like that might do. Yeah, there's a couple of good angles right there. Beautiful. Okay, so transform this thing. It is the. Let's go ahead and just press that and see what happens here. Now, I did not turn invincibility mode on, which I probably should have, but let's see if it breaks or not. Some transformers don't need invincibility mode. Those are the best ones. Yeah, see, I don't remember, like, the little tie. He looks like he's wearing a tie. I like it. This thing's cool. Yes, this is in about 20% speed just because of how big everything is, plus this map is pretty massive as well. Little farmer dudes coming up on me. They don't appreciate my my style, my presence. Well, screw you guys. Freaking trying to bully me. Freaking who do you think you are? So as the robot, we can walk forward with R. Let's go ahead and just try that just for a second. Just for a couple steps, because we don't have very long. Actually, we kind of do with the waterfall. But yeah, I mean, it's moving forward. You guys see that? Uh, left and right to turn this thing. Beautiful. And we also do have the arm missiles, which is 9, 0, uh, minus key and plus key. This is 9 and 0. Beautiful. Heck yeah. And a couple other rockets as well. Very nice. You can never complain about rockets, right? You, you can just never have enough of them. We also have some arrows, which is B. Yes, th those are arrows. And we can also control the arms, which is U and I. Let's go try that for a little bit. Yep, it, it, it's controlling the arms. You can never be too sure. Sometimes the creators might try to lie to you. There's also N, which is... Oh, oh, okay, so if you wouldn't have used your tank mode missiles, then you would be able to press N, and you can fire them in this mode as well, which I imagine they'd just come right off the back. Pretty cool. Then there's also J and K to turn the head. Do a little bit of that. What you looking at, punk? That kind of thing. I like it. And then finally, there's X to transform back. Let's go and try this again. This is always broken first time, restart again, which I, I, oh, maybe that, that was why the tank mode didn't work. That could be a possibility. Okay, fair enough. But yes, it transforms right back into the tank mode. Not really too many parts broken. I mean, considering it wasn't in invincibility mode, I'd say that's pretty good. Okay, the only thing is that there wasn't really great lighting, so let's go ahead and try this again, see if we can get a nice lighting picture of this bad boy. There we go. Oh, that, that's looking pretty. Look at you, standing tall. Even in the little puffs of smoke there. Let's go and wait for those to settle. Hopefully they do before you collapse. There we are. Yeah, that's good enough. And now it's fired off some of these rockets here. Teaching you guys how to make a YouTube thumbnail. There you are. Easy peasy thumbnail. And you can also fire off the other rockets as well. There we go. And just so you have a little bit of variety, a little bit of options. Oh uh, yeah, this thing. Pretty dang cool for a freaking tank transformer. I think it works pretty well. Doesn't really need invincibility mode. I like that. Well, I mean, hey, we got all the technicalities out of the way. Let's go and get into some fun. Now, I did uh, skip over the Turk. Uh, uh, I, I can't speak sometimes. You ever you ever have that happen? You just you can't get words out? That happens to me all the time. But what I was going to say is I did skip over the turret controls. Let's go and try those out for a little bit. This is F, H, uh, T, and G. So yeah, pretty much just like W, A, S, and D, but over on the T key. So the little farmers over here are knocked down. Oh, nope, they're getting back up. Oh, you really think that's a good idea, bud? Do you? Well, I'll stare down the barrel of this. Why don't you? A little bit of cannon fire for you. Oh, well, uh, cut. Wait, can I actually lower the cannon too? Does it aim down lower? Not much lower, but it goes quite a bit higher. Okay, good to know. Let's see if we can maybe uh, use the fire cannon. There we go. Oh, that's actually from a different place. Still, let's see if maybe we can shoot these little dudes up here on the ledge. Let's we'll go ahead and focus on him. Um, yeah, it should be pretty lined up. Oops, what button did I press? Oh, I press V. Okay, uh, C quickly. Oh, really? All right, let's go and try this again, but this time we do have infinite ammo, so we can shoot as much as we need to. Let's go over to this guy. I just want to see it from his perspective, you know? Do 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 do. Just just sitting here waiting, waiting for a bird to come by, snipe it down for dinner. Nothing, nothing, nothing to worry about. Just a uh, just a nightlife. Oh crap! What's that? A cannon? Ah. Oh. Well, it's still missed. Okay, still. You guys understand what I was trying to do? It would have been cool. And what's this over here? Oh. Uh, yeah, we have to shoot that down too, of course. Alright, that should be pretty lined up. Let's go and try that. Oh, freaking I press V again, dang it. Uh, is it gonna hit? Please, so I don't have to reset and do it again? Oh, that hit. That, that did hit. It, it didn't take it down, but it hit. I saw it freaking bounce off. You freaking cannonball. Maybe it's just... Yeah. 
just must not be able to be destroyed. That's kind of lame. Maybe if we just aim down just a tiny bit, then fire off. Oh, it did actually hit stuff all the way over in the distance. That's cool. I'll see if that does anything for us. Nope, it's just going to hit it. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah, still, this thing, very freaking cool. I love all the Transformers in this game. Honestly, I'm just really happy that I started the series back again. I get to check out really cool things like this, and I just, I get to have a good time every single time I record. It's just, it's just fun. It's pretty much like playing with toys. Heck yeah. But alas, I think that will be it for today's video of Besiege. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to join the pack because we're pretty dang cool around here, if you guys ask me. If you guys want to check out any of the creations for yourself, well, I mean, just type type in the name that I said. I, I, I said the name exactly as it's written, so you guys can find it easily. You're welcome. If you guys have anything that you'd like to see in Besiege, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. I can try to find whatever, you know, might be kind of a replica of whatever you want to see. And yeah, we'll, we'll just go from there. And leave any suggestions down there because I, I love chatting with you guys. I reply to every comment that I can because that's just, that's just the kind of person I am. This guy really just freaking slashed me. Come on now, farmer. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking. I hope you have a great day. Follow your dreams and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and stay awesome, guys.